Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Five Slides in Five Minutes of Medical Education, brought to you by Dr. Faaz Tuma, a clinical associate surgeon in Central Michigan University, USA, narrated by Dr. Omnia Khachuri, a newly graduated doctor from Baghdad University. Today's topic will be about Bloom's taxonomy. But before we go further into this, we need to understand the morale behind this taxonomy. So Dr. Benjamin Bloom and his group in the University of Chicago classified questions into six levels according to different cognitive levels, starting from to remember, to understand, to apply, to analyze, to evaluate, and to create. Since then, Bloom's taxonomy was used to teach students in ascending levels of complexity, starting from the simplest to the highest. So let's take this into more context. So we see that this taxonomy is structured into six different levels. Starting from the basic one is to remember, to recall facts, to define basic concepts, to list and to memorize and to repeat. You go higher up into understanding, explaining ideas and concepts, classifying and discussing. A bit further up into applying the knowledge into new and different situations. Further up into the analysis, you're drawing connections among ideas, you're examining, you're questioning, and you're testing your theories. A bit up into the evaluation, so you're appraising, you're criticizing your stand, and you're judging your decision. And towards the final level and the highest level in the taxonomy, which is to create, to produce new ideas, new original work based on the levels that we've just discussed. So you're here designing new plans, you're formulating theories, etc., etc. Having to know this, the taxonomy will help the learner and the teacher ascend in a structured way to attain their learning objectives. How can we use the taxonomy in medical education and how can it be of benefit in clinical teaching? Let's take the scenario of a medical educator and his team of students and residents seeing a 62 years old man presenting of chest pain to the emergency room. How can this medical educator teach this topic to his students and residents? So as we said, the discussion points should cover all the six cognitive levels that we've just talked about, starting from the basic information and understanding towards applying knowledge, analysis and evaluation, and finally constructing action plans. Therefore, the objectives of this clinical teaching session and questions should follow appropriate Bloom's taxonomy levels, and you can actually match them towards these levels. So for example, a set of objectives would be, what are the causes of chest pain? So this corresponds to the basic level, which is to remember, to list the causes of chest pain. Another question would be, explain the cause of this patient's chest pain. This corresponds to the understanding level, explaining the pathophysiology of this patient's chest pain. Another question would be, how to investigate this patient? This is to apply the knowledge that we've just gained into this different and new situation, which is to apply. Analyze and evaluate the patient's result. This corresponds to the analysis and the evaluation levels, respectively. And finally, how to plan treatment for this patient. This corresponds to the highest level, which is to create and to formulate original work. This is the list of the references and resources that we've used to make this presentation. Thank you so much for listening and see you in the upcoming topic.